YouTube, we're done making the base plate for this. It has this piece. This is one inch by two inch steel bar stock. And we have this piece goes all the way up to meet the other one. So this piece comes clear in here and it's welded together. And we put the straight edge on here with the feeler gauge. We have about 20,000 dip right here, about in the middle, almost exactly in the middle. So that don't matter. It is pretty level. There's a little dip back in here. Bolted more than it has to be. The big bolts are where the slots are. The little ones, I just made big holes. So when I tighten up the belt. We don't have the belt real tight. We don't want to put a load on the bearing, so. That's not quite full speed. We figured we had some paint left over from the vise. That's what we used on here. Now we're going to get rubber mat to set this on. Because I don't think it's going to walk around at all. This this is pretty heavy. It's a pretty hunk of, big hunk of steel. Time you pick it up with the lathe. Here we go, make this a short video. New base plate. We thought about enclosing this. We figured why worry about it? We can get it all the bolts and everything easy. I could reach under here and do all the bolts from over here. Every bolt can be done from this side. They're all this side of this piece of steel. So they all fit over there. So we can get it all the bolts. <coughs> Excuse me. We did put a bolt here. Which there wasn't one from the factory, so there's three bolts holding this down now. This thing will run pretty slow. Never run it that slow, but that's about as slow as you could run it then. And, and I never run it that fast. the belt. We don't want to load the bearings up, so it's pretty straight. Both that you see move back and forth is just the unevenness of the belt. That belt's kind of thicker in one spot. We do have another one. We have a spare. But we're going to call this good. Thanks for watching.